I'm absolutely amazed that, again, he's, he's gone for that cut break. Again, you know, given how good his front ball break is, after the last break that didn't go right, he's done it again and give Mick first opportunity again at the table here. Well, if I was in Jake's corner, I'd tell him he's never allowed to, to hit that cut break again. I mean, his front ball break is, even if it goes wandering from time to time and you have a little spell of it, you know, coming up dry, it's it's such a huge weapon. And if you're not going to use one of your biggest weapons, you know, in a match like this, and it, it is slightly surprising. Yeah, I think the cut break should just be banished, if I'm honest. Get rid it, of it, uh, gone. It, here's one for you, Jimmy. Here's one for you. We all know how the, Mick, Gaz, yourself, Chris, feel about the cut break. I saw Mick cut break earlier on. First time I've ever seen it. Unbelievable. Right, we're going to be having... I mean, he hit it horrendous as well. Me and Michael... <laughs> it was as well, bad that's, as you've that's, seen. That's why he doesn't do it. Me and Michael are going to be having words yeah. before the final. He, he did. He, he knew he was going to be in for a little bit of grief, but you will be able <laughs> to see that. Uh, you will be able to see that on ultimatepool.tv at some point in the near future as well. It was filmed. Yeah, that's it. We, we can't have that. We cannot have that. So the obvious problem, they're in yellow together. I assume he's going to be using it yellow over the right centre just to play into it. When he does play into it, if he lands full, he could actually weld himself to that yellow. So he does need to be careful with his shot. That's why he's playing it now, to give himself options if that happens. I don't think he will. Yeah, it's not really done him any favours unless he passes that red, which it doesn't. He's, he's a little bit unfortunate. I think I read that a little bit hard to me. He's annoyed, annoyed with himself there. Mix the sort of player he doesn't like playing cannons when he has to just fly into it and hope good things happen. He likes to play the natural cannon and, and the delicate cannon, but on that occasion, it was definitely one where the more pace was going to help him. He's played a nice shot there. It's My. just a little bit awkward with the cue ball right on the cushion if he was off the cushion. Could do something here, but he's, he's not got a lot of room there to to manipulate the cue ball. So you think the yellow passes to the bottom right-hand corner now? I think it does. Yeah. It really was a lovely shot then. It really was. He's played that really nice. As That's is nice. that. to right hand side there just to stop the cue ball from going too far to the left don't think this is the full pocket it was and he was okay what a lovely finish this will be the eight ball goes in absolutely fantastic that was a tough ball to solve and it took two efforts to solve it but Solve it, he does. And Mick Hill, with his third visit to the table, takes out his third frame. Very impressive.